Hello again folks and welcome back to Let's Play Record of Lodos War Advent of Cardis. I'm your host again Darius. Last we left off, I am going to at I want to slay at least one of them. And it seems like the best way I can do that is get them to come to me. And then when the shaman lady comes up, either uh run away like a sissy little baby and just more or less bait them out. Or try to escape as fast as possible. We're probably going to go with the escape as fast as possible plan though. I want to get at least one. I, sure. I can't linger too much in one area. Oh god, he did so much damage. Wait, is that invisibility or teleportation? Make up your mind, game. That's all my healing. Ow. Okay. That was a lot of damage. And I really don't want to try to mess with the shaman right now because the shaman herself is astoundingly strong. Go figure. I just want to lure... Where are you? Oh. Oh. Alright. I slew one. I slew one. I did it. I slew one. Safe. <laughs> this is such a terrible idea. What am I doing? Also, yeah. This memory card is... Does not have a lot of space. I really should have actually put a little bit more money into it. Oh well. So, place your bets. How many more times am I going to die to the, this situation? Actually, I probably should. Yeah. Use the large potion first, because the large potion has a good... three or four charges on it, I think. Oh. Run away. I... I was trying to run away, sir. Nope. Where the hell are the rest of them? Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Two down. Yes, I'm save scumming this shit. Just to hell with it. <laughs> If I had my dexterity ring equipped it instead of my health ring, I might feasibly be able to take him out in few fewer hits. But the problem with that is that that would rely on the critical a uh, critical build, which while I'm all for, um, it's not that reliable. You know. I'm kind of hoping that I'm going to get like an instant level the second that I get uh, Shaman Lady. Save scum, save scum, all the save scum while I drink my monster. Alright. Don't want to face off against the piss off shaman just yet. There was a fourth guy, right? Ooh. Lightning bolts. Got to avoid those. Naturally. All right. It's interesting, they turn invisible. It seems like they turn invisible before they actually uh, do any sort of teleportation trick. Which means that you can still hit them a little bit before they end up poofing off somewhere. Which is interesting. But at the same time, um, 
Okay, it's it's just down to the shaman lady. I gotta get her out in the open. Do I actually have a block? I don't have a block. I can spin around in a circle. That's about it. Alright, that's her casting magic missile? Lightning bolt? Maybe she's just throwing insults at me. Which still hurt, just in a very different fashion. Yeah, depending on how much damage that she ends up doing, and or rather how much damage I end up doing, is pretty much going to decide. Okay. Alright, I can do this. I can do this. Mighty human warrior, I said. Ow. Ow. <laughs> it's just like facing that golem. I, I got a... Um, mm. Pretty much what I have to do... I can't believe I'm trying this. This, this is more or less me cheesing the ever-loving crap out of it, and I... They plainly set it up so as you can cheese it. Uh... But to cheese it... Still requires a lot of patience because, you know... Oh, you... Come on, stop moving. I need to tank it. I need to tank her... Stabbing me in the face once or twice before I can... Go over here, get some potions. Yep. Whoa. Yeah, this is pretty much what I have to do. Okay. Or she can point blank me with her um, magic missile. I'm gonna call it magic missile. <laughs> it's based enough off of... Uh, Dungeons and Dragons, that I am not afraid to call things as they are from D&D. God. Reckle Lotus War was just such a... such a damn good anime. Relatively simple in plot, you know. You hero, evil wizard, go kill. Stop goddesses, resurrection. You know, kind of stereotypical for most anime standards. Ow. Maybe I should increase my armor. But there was just something about the fantasy element of it, where it's low enough fantasy that any sort of spells that they had cast actually felt like they were just decent spells, besides, you know, instead of just snapping your fingers and making light appear while you're in a dark cave, they actually had to go into a chant to conjure spirits and all that fun stuff in order to make it go, okay, yeah, light spell. It makes it actually seem like there was effort put into uh, the character learning the magical crafts as opposed to, oh yeah, I'm a natural at this. I've done this ever since I was a child. Kind of thing that you see in a lot of anime. Not hating on the anim- Ah, oh, god damn it. Not hating on those anime, it's just... It actually feels like magic had needed an effort when it came to regular Lodos. Even uh, Slain, one of the characters that they actually sh showed that I needed to find. Even Slain himself was all like, when he was first introduced, yeah, I've I still got a lot of books to read in order to master my craft, and it's like, yes! Thank you. I think the only other anime that made me kind of feel that same sort of, okay, they had to do a lot in order to learn this shit. Um, two of them actually. One was Slayers. Yes, I'm just, I'm serious on that. And the other one was, uh, Bastard. Oh god! It did so much damage. Push comes to shove, I can just jump into that teleporter. 
Which, by the way, if you look up Bastard, uh, I hope you're at least 16 years of age, because it was... Not exactly made for kids. I think it was... I think it was animated by the same people that made, um... Ah, what was it called? Enemies are close. Oh, crap. I think it was made by the same people who animated Ninja Scroll. Which... Beautiful goddamn animation in that. But that was very much also not made for kids. I watched a lot of anime that I probably shouldn't have as a kid. Just saying. Ah, oh, crap it. Alright, she's teleporting a lot. You walkie bitch. Okay. I can teleport out of here. <laughs> I can't save, but I can teleport. So. Um. Do I have. Wait. I got a thing that's providing lightning resistance. If it's providing me lightning resistance, it's not providing a lot of it. How long are you gonna extend there, Wart? I can't work with you work looking over my shoulder like that. What do you want? I just wanted to thank you, Arbor. You're doing a fine job. I am very grateful for your help. Don't mention it. It's my honor to aid one of the six legendary heroes that saved Lodos. Well, you've been hanging around the smithy a lot recently. Tell me, what is your concern? There is so much equipment on Marmo, but there is not enough mithril to engrave sufficient ancient inscriptions into all of it. But as I explained before, you do not have to. When you transform equipment to all the engraved ancient, uh, ancients are transferred to the new form. Yes, it is better to concentrate all ancient engravings on one piece of equipment and then transform that piece into another form. Exactly. The only problem is Darius must return here each time he wants to transform his equipment. There's nothing to be done about that. Perhaps there is. While I have been watching you work, I have learned a little of the art of magic arms. I believe I have a solution. What? Preposterous. This trade takes years to master. There's no way you could have solved such a problem just by watching me work. If you say so, but please, take a look at this magic book I created. Hmm, what's this? A book that allows you to transfer ancient be ancients between different pieces of equipment at will. Ingenious! Thank you. Can you give this to Darius and then please explain its function clearly? I'll do no such thing. The man has had enough lessons. Smart enough to figure out how to use the book on its own. <laughs> you mean you are very tired enough of, tri of teaching? Very well. I'm sure he will understand how to use the book. Now Darius can carry multiple weapons and transfer all the ancient inscriptions between them at will. Yes, and I can duplicate all weapons that he has found, so he will always have to have the right weapon for the right enemy. Splendid. Now I must return to my studies. Until our next meeting, dwarf. Till next time, old man. I mean, let's be honest, that dwarf is honestly probably older than, uh, Wart is. Maybe? Possibly. It's never said explicitly, but I think, uh... Wart is at least 500 years old. Oh, do I need to have it in my inventory? I guess I do. Uh, I'm just wondering what else I could possibly do. There's... Can they make me a special sword? But to do the right job, I'll need 10,000 mithril. There's a lot, I know, but the sword will be worth it. Hmm. Urge to grind suddenly increased by like fivefold. That was not a whole lot of mithril right there. Urge to grind. Rising. I'll fill up my potions. Quick save. Mostly so I don't have to go through that whole dialogue thing again. And also because I'm going to jump right back into fighting uh, the Dark Elf Shaman Lady. And prepare to get my ass handed to me at least another... I don't know. 
five, six times at the least. This is such a stupid idea. Why am I doing it? I'm I'm using an entire video just to go, hey, Miss Shaman Lady. Where'd she go? Where are you? I don't want to get comfortable only for you to suddenly come out and kick my ass. Crap. That despawner. I think that despawned her. Hmm. Pyramid. Hello? Firebolt inscription? Excuse you? Oh, let me guess. It's going to... No. That's going to allow me to... Do additional fire damage on my weapons? Damn, Rasulb. Why is he acting like this? It must have to do something with that sorcerer Ragnard. What am I to do? I want to help Mar Marella, but I cannot oppose Rasold. Not now. Who goes there? Sup? Just here for your Mithra. A human? You look strangely familiar. Do I know you? What are you doing here? Why is this village so empty? So you notice, most of the villagers have already ex evacuated. Those that remain in fear for their lives. Russell, our leader, has begun sacrificing innocent villagers to Cardis as part of his deal with Wagner. The name is Darius, but I do not know you. That is strange. Your voice sounds familiar. I feel like we have met before. At any rate, well met. My name is Pyrotus. I was right. I'm a dark elf and follow the black commander Ashram. Sounds like you have problems. Perhaps I could help. Well, there is one matter that needs to be resolved. For reasons of diplomacy, I cannot actively involve myself. But know this, human. The task is a dangerous one. And you still wish to help me? It would be my pleasure. Very well. Stay a moment while I open the entrance to the lower level of the pyramid. Before I entrust you with my task, you must first prove yourself worthy. Enter the pyramid and kill the blue-winged demon within. Then meet me at the base of the pyramid stairs. She says, "I then, as I then immediately... Hello. It's all the loot. Book of Walls gradually teaches the magic of walls? Okay. I didn't mean to use recall there. I meant to hold X, but that's my own stupidity. Oops. Tower spell. I feel like that increases my defense. Is my armor always 15? Oh, it makes a literal tower. Okay. Neat. Also, I think I've, um... I think I've completely wasted my opportunity of... Uh, slaying the shamaness. Which kinda sucks. Because I was so close. So goddamn close to that. Well, as much as I want to go into the temple there, I'm going to quickly have a look around Z. See if there's anything else of interest within the village. You know, besides individual shamans and whatnot that want to kill me. Yay. 
I mean, I kind of hope I find the shaman again. I was so close to beating her butt. But I think it was much like the golem where once I... Once I have uh, ran away, more or less, because that's what I did. It's uh, just despawns or gets back her HP. Rasselb is the leader of the Dark Elves of, on Marmo. He has been acting strange ever since his, he allied with Wagnar. The entrance of the pyramid is blocked by magic stones. These stones can only be moved by powerful Dark Elf. Saw a human in the Fortress of Darkness. A young knight. He was calling for someone named Deedlet? Ah, within the fortress, you say. So I do got to get into here. I think into here. Oh, hello. Well, that was just a miscellaneous undead spirit. That's fine. I lived. I think they only did like two damage though, so. Oh god, I'm getting a lot of spells. Teaches the magic of illusion. Illusion magic, eh? Oh, that's neat. So then they'll attack those guys instead of attacking me. Okay. Alright. I'm up for that. Personally, I'd rather the emergency recall skill, but... There's an abandoned house in the corner of the village that is haunted. People say they saw a ghost in there. Oh, that's the one that he was talking about. Okay. Imprisoned in the thing. Alright. Well... Any other places in here that I've missed that I can't simply walk into? I need to go, need to check out over there. I've already explored all of that over there. So I pretty much just gotta uh, walk past that other house. See if I can't. Right now. Oh. I think most of what's over here is just going to be this pyramid. Wouldn't that be a dirty trick? They introduce this pyramid and then suddenly there's just like... I don't know, five of the um, teleporty bastages around me. Okay, I can't even go in there. Uh, I got a distinct feeling though that... That that shaman was supposed to be a kind of heck you for not being deceitful thing. Just a feeling. Oh, gargoyle. Excellent. Oh, hello. Hmm, they're doing some sort of cold damage to me. Alright, what'd you drop for me this time, game? Teaches the magic of wind. Oh, it also dropped a thing. Magic ring that which simultaneously increases HP and strength simultaneously. Yes, please? I have more might than God. Ow. A lot of damage from a little fairy. Good thing I equipped that ring then. Alright, let's not go that way just yet. Pick up a potions container. Oh, that's the blue demon. I slew them in one swing. Armor plus two. I'm gonna loot the rest of the place before I leave here, of course. 
Dang it. As right. That was a short-lived illusion spell, though. Just saying. Alright, this place is not as big as I thought it was going to be. Oh, hello. You are actually stronger than that demon that I needed to slay. I feel a slight bit tricked. Come on. Alright. I have found a lot here. A wicked sword, magic sword with attributes of darkness, feared by elves, holds a curse from the evil goddess herself. A long, long sword of some sort? Cursed? It's not a whole lot of damage. Sacred. The diadem has no physical powers of protection. According to the ancients, its ability increases. What? So it increases my resists. Hmm. What's my defense at? Or armor? Hmm. It's tempting. I'll give it that. Ooh, medium potion. Yeah, I'm gonna want to use that. Man, I, I kind of hate that I ended up getting letting the shaman disappear. She does a lot of damage. But I could have taken her. Just would have taken a little, you know, just a little bit more effort. It appears you are a capable warrior after all, Darius. You have proven yourself worthy of my trust. But I must warn you, even for a warrior such as yourself, this is a dangerous mission. Are you sure you wish to help me? I'm ready, Piratus. The village elder, Marella, is being held captive in a room on the first floor of the pyramid. I need you to save her. If you are caught, I will deny any involvement. Pass through this door behind me and head up the stairs. We'll meet again once you have saved Marella. Okay, really quick. Tornado spell. Oh, that was the spell that, um, Wart was casting. Um, I'm gonna keep Recall prepared just in case, though. Oh, hello. Yeah, you teleporty bastards think you're so smart. Or maybe they're just invisible. I don't know. I'm gonna go with invisible. Okay, I can't enter that. Can't enter that. Thought she said she opened the doors. Or maybe I've got to... She said through the f ground level I gotta go, right? Hmm. Now I'm moderately confused. I think this is roughly where I had gotten lost. Now that I think about it, I didn't really explore much of the... place and after dying a couple of times to... Uh... Oh, hey, level up. And after dying a couple of times to the shamaness, I was like, you know what? I think, uh, think I'm going to be a little bit skeevy. And not tell the full truth. Eh. And by not tell the full truth, I mean wholesale lie to the shaman. The frick frack. Ah. Goddamn ghosts. See, the only reason I popped back in here is because I thought that there was a method to actually, you know, figure out where it is I need to go. I seem not to be able to, though. Come on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
man, for as little damage as those guys do, the impact that they do is annoying. Yeah, I feel like I've explored all this all over again. Already hit that button. So how is it I'm supposed to open these? I don't think Piratus went fully into detail about how the hell to open these. Piratus is another character that's actually from the OVA, by the way. In case anyone was thinking, eh, yeah. Okay. Hmm. See if Pyrotis is back over here, see if she's got any further explanation, and then I'm gonna call it an episode. No, she's not here. Um bleh. She opened the door. Unless it's out at the tippity top of the pyramid that I'm supposed to go. Nope, that's very much closed. Pyrotis, I can't save your friend if all of these are closed. Chris one she also says something about starting from the ground floor. But I just did the ground floor and why would I need why would she need to open up this door? I will have to look up how to do this. I'm gonna run to the save point. Save. Get all my potions up. Get all my healing on and call an episode. When do we return? We shall figure out how the hell I'm supposed to actually enter this thing. Just a little funky is all. Hmm. We'll see how this goes. Still, still kind of lamenting over not having been able to successfully slay the shaman. But, you know how it goes. I could actually just reload the save. I probably could have just done that. No, that save is officially ruined. Because I had teleported out, done the dialogue thing, and then... Ah, damn it. Yeah, my chance of slaying the shaman is ruined. Oh well. So, thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. And as always, hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.